this is Nick from FitStep.com and PowerfulTrainingSecrets.com. Got an incline dumbbell bench press for you here today. This is an exercise that hits the upper chest fibers in a very specific way. You're obviously going to be using dumbbells for this, but one of the key things with this one is that you don't want to go so far down that you're putting stress on the shoulder joints themselves. You actually want to keep it a little bit above chest level. Now this might be a little contrary to what a lot of people think with the incline press. You know you want to go full range of motion, but once you get past a specific spot in that range of motion, it's going to be all shoulders and it's going to put a lot of stress on the shoulder joint. So by kind of stopping a bit short of that, you're actually going to do a better quality upper chest movement. So there are a few different ways to get the dumbbells into position for the incline dumbbell bench press. The first one is to have people hand the, ball, hand the dumbbells to you basically, whereas you're in position and they'll just pass them to you right up front like that and you can start from there. The other method is to lift these up, set them on your knees, and then as you're getting ready to do the exercise, you kick them back up and into position. That's another good way to do it. What I like to do is start with dumbbells on the ground and heave these things all the way back up like so, and then use that rebound at the bottom to press right up to the top. So I find that to be a really effective way to get in position for the incline dumbbell bench press. So I'm going to give you a demo set here. And if I were going completely deep range of motion, it would be all the way down to here. I can really feel that in my shoulder joints. Whereas with this, still getting the upper chest, but not with the near, near the same shoulder issues with it. So that's the range of motion right about to here. And when you're done, like so. Set them down and you're good to go. So that's how you do the incline dumbbell bench press. A few tips for getting them into position and uh, definitely give that one a try. And with this you don't want to set it at too high of an incline otherwise you will be involving more shoulders than upper chest. So I kind of like to keep it around 30 to 45 degrees uh, for optimal upper chest simulation.